On July 10, 2011, Google Plus became open to the public. The following is an excerpt from our first ever Google Hangout. So how many people can hang out at once? Ten. So it's whoever starts it and then nine other people. So we need to find seven more people to add to this conversation. I have it on public, so you guys can share it. Um, the people it, I know are T9J people. Yeah, because I'm sharing with all about a hundred people right now, but I don't think anybody's around. I'm not internet famous, so nobody wants to jump on the hangout. <laughs> I used to be internet famous. As the Jesus guy? Yeah. I used to pull 300 <laughs> viewers a day, now I pull one if I'm lucky. <laughs> I was never internet famous. I just enjoyed being in my corner of the uh, internet yeah. and random people would stumble upon it. I haven't been internet famous since Tia got fired. <laughs> I don't think I was internet famous then. <laughs> she used to constantly front page me for no fucking reason at all. It's like I'd just be sitting here talking to you guys like this and all of a sudden it's like 400 viewers. I'm like, what the fuck? And everyone's like, you're on the front page. I'm like, God damn it, Tia. Why? <laughs> Uh, that's probably my fault. I'm not doing anything <laughs> special. Why am I on the front page? Because <laughs> I'd probably say, like, puppets. <laughs> well, if I was doing puppets, that would be one thing. But, like, I wasn't even doing puppets then. I was just, like, sitting <laughs> well, there Well, I probably told her that you, you were probably going to do puppets. <laughs> <laughs> that's how she found you in the first place. Like, Brad's is doing puppets in his channel. <laughs> <laughs> Which I would never introduce those fucking puppets. And they're still staring at you right now, aren't they? No, they're in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, they watch you sleep, huh? No. That's not creepy at all. I sleep over here on my wonderfully <laughs> awesome futon green screen thing over there. Oh, so you t so you guys are having a fight, huh? And they kicked you out of the bedroom. No. I put them in the bedroom because I was tired of them sitting out here. I just fucked up the whole view. I really don't want to drop a hundred dollars on a frame. <laughs> That's actually Make pretty one. cheap. I don't have any of the tools to make one. You just go to those make a frame stores or whatever. I don't even know if they have those in Utah or not. I gotta look that up. They should. They used to have. How big a frame do you need? It's like a five foot by a three foot frame. <laughs> They used to have frame stores inside of some of the staples around my old house. Well, I, I'm going to go to Joanne's and see how much this is going to cost. Because I found a coupon for 55% off. So it's still going to be like 60 bucks or so, but it's better than paying 100 and something. That's actually really cheap for a frame of that size. Yeah. I'd be willing to pay it because the picture I have, it's actually signed by the artist. So... Yeah, that's why when you asked me the cheapest way, I was like, well, there really isn't a cheap way, either, you know, because usually you're looking to pay almost 200 bucks to get something framed. Yeah, like, I, I looked online and 124 was, like, the cheapest I could find, 110. Yeah. Well, it really depends on the frame that you pick out, too, because, like, frame stores have custom frames that you can buy. So it really depends yeah. on which one you purchase. If you just tell them to give you the cheapest one, which is usually, like, a like a gold or a black or a wood or something like that. Yeah, I don't want anything too fancy, so. And, and probably pretty light because I don't want to, like, anchor holes in the, my wall or something to get you them used up. to make um, those poster frames in that size, but I don't think you can find those anymore. I think they scaled them down. Yeah, like the biggest is... A thirty-two by thirty or thirty-two or something, I think. And why do you have a six foot by three foot picture? Um, do you remember when I won that Xbox? I also won that picture. Yeah, you win three, four, five, six Xboxes and PS3s. I don't win <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, really. Well, man. come what to Nerdtacular the next year. They literally have an hour called Prize of Prize Apocalypse, where they just give out prizes. Yeah, I'd get something stupid that I would never use. Speaking of which, I. 
Way back when, I, there was some radio show that if you put in your wish list of songs or something, you'd get, like, a prize, you know, and other prizes have been, like, dinner for four for, like, I mean, not a fancy restaurant, but, like, at Arby's or something, and I get a Classico gift bag thing. It didn't even include sauce, like spaghetti sauce. It was, like, a tote bag and a towel, and the other picture was of, of sitting at a photo place, you know, it's like, that's practically worthless, because you still have to pay for the pictures. I know, sitting is like, that's the gimme money right there. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, like, you're probably going to hate me, because that's, I, those Harry Potter tickets, I actually just won today, so. Are you going in full costume, like Brooklyn? No. <laughs> Does it look like I would go in full costume, like oh Brooklyn? Oh my god, Brooklyn. Is he going to the one where you get to watch all like eight of them back to back? He probably did. <laughs> he said he was going to do that when the final one comes out. He was going to like pay the forty bucks or whatever to watch all eight movies back to back. I don't know if he's doing that, but he's he's got his get up. He's posted on Twitter a couple of times. He's got like a robe, and I guess he just bought the tie, and I think he's got a wand. And of course, he's got a, a some sort of tattoo. I don't know. That's Harry Potter related. If I had kids, I might dress up, but I'm not gonna dress up <laughs> as a, a single 22 year old male. <laughs> That's not my thing. Rev's gonna do it, no. right, Rev? I don't go to movies. I only go to movies where I get free tickets. <laughs> The last movie we went and saw in theaters was episode one. Or no, wait, Mace, Maybe should... Mace Spider-Man. Which one came out last? Uh, the first Spider-Man or the, uh, yeah, the first sequels? One. I think Spider-Man. Yeah, so Spider-Man would have been the last movie I saw in theaters. And you actually, should see if your town has any of the screening times. tickets. I got to watch Spider-Man four times. Why four times? Because the first night, uh, me and a bunch of friends were going to go, and I was supposed to have a date that night, but she couldn't make it. So then, like, the next night she was free, and I was like, well, what did you want to do tonight? You know, you want to go to dinner or what? She's like, well, I I really wanted to see Spider-Man with you guys last night. I was like, well, I guess we can go see it again. And then, like, I went and watched it with another friend a week later. And uh, I forget why I went the fourth time. I think it was with another friend. So, yeah, I ended up watching that fucking movie four times in theaters. (laughs) I've only seen like the most of I've seen movies twice yeah I saw Forgetting Sarah Marshall twice and I saw Super 8 twice and those were all previews do you guys watch <laughs> like, I, Transformers I really don't yet? go unless it's a preview these days and I get them for free so you're gonna go see Transformers 3 I already saw it I saw it a week before it came out and it was garbage <laughs> Like, no, it, it's bad because I think he ran out of money because some of the CG scenes that should have looked almost seamless, you could tell where the green screen started and the CG was a- added on later. Oh, someone was telling me today. Um, yeah, they reused the scene from the island, too. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Like, you could go frame by frame with the island in Transformers 3 and, like, some of the explosions were identical. Like, he used the yeah. same. Yeah, so, like, there's a scene in Transformers 3 three where they're on the freeway doing a car chase type thing, you know, where you'd see them in Transformers. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the car chase in the island, the exact same, uh, they use the exact same stock footage for that. Like there's a armored truck in the exact same spot where it is. And if you look at the cars, all those cars were from 2005. That's when they were like top of the line. When I went with my friend, he's like, how come this car looks like it's from 2005? (laughs) I'm like, uh, because I think that's the stock footage from island, the island. I'm pretty sure I watched a little bit of Transformers when it was, you know, the animated series back in the 80s or 90s or whenever it was. But I don't think I was too into it, and I don't remember much of it. So, like, watching, I just watch the movies for entertainment purposes, not like, it does not like Star Trek where I watched a lot of it and it sort of obsessed me that they screwed with everything. Oh, I I hated Star Trek. The reboot, and I hated the Transformers too, because like those are my childhood shows. The reboot was awesome. Shut up. (laughs) 
<laughs> you and your lens flare, man. Hey, Maybe lens that's why you love it. Okay. No, the, the funny thing is when I watched Super 8, you know how like the lens flare was like everywhere in Star Trek? Yeah. Double that. And they're like in Super 8, every scene there's like a lens flare. And you're like, what are you doing? You don't even need a lens flare over here. It's like a lens flare right out of the window or something. I'm like, why do you need a lens flare in this scene? They're just talking. See, the thing is, I can separate movies from like my childhood experience. Like, Things like Star Trek and Transformers, I watched them when I was a kid, so I do have a little bit of the nostalgic value, but I can also step back from that and watch the movie just for the entertainment value. I can't but, do that, But man. even then, I still hated the Transformers movie. No, actually, then, let, let, let me rephrase that. The Transformers movie was okay. The Shia LaBeouf B movie that was going on at the same time is what's... <laughs> it gets worse, man. Apparently, it's LeBeau, or it should be LeBeau. You know they pronounce it LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> no, the third one, it's even worse. Oh, yeah. I Tomorrow know. is 7 Eleven. Free Slurpees. So you suppose you can get a free Slurpee, but I don't have any 7 Elevens around here. I haven't it's had like, a Slurpee. I don't know where the closest 7 Eleven is. Yeah. Oh, Rev, don't watch the Green Lantern movie either. I've heard some things about that. I wouldn't want to. It's, I'm not a it's... comic book person, so none of those comic books. Movies really, uh, uh, what's the word, appeal to me. Yeah. Well, see, that's, well, that's pre- the thing about most of the comic book movies is you, most of the way they're done, you really don't have to be a fan of the comic book yeah. to enjoy them. Actually, you would probably enjoy them better not being a comic book fan than if you were a comic book fan. Oh, yeah. Well, well, like, I think most of the DC ones are actually good, but Green they dropped the ball on Green Lantern. And, and it's not even the fact that Green Lantern's my favorite DC hero. It, like... Halfway through the movie, they start setting up for the sequel without even getting close to resolving like the story in the first one at all. Yeah, someone told me that um, the Green Lantern. The only thing really wrong with the Green Lantern movie is it's really poorly paced. Like they're trying to cram too much into one movie, and yeah. they, they end up making what would have been a great like Green Lantern Part Six as opposed to his origin story. Yeah, like seriously, if you go about halfway through, it, you you can tell that there's going to be a sequel. Yeah. Even if it does well or not, and like it just it wasn't even related to the story whatsoever. And you're like, what are they doing? Speaking <laughs> and of doing well, the 3D okay. was wasn't like that's not a movie to watch in 3D either. Yeah. No movie is a movie to watch in 3D. I don't want to see anything in 3D because 3D is not good for myself at least. Well, like there, there's some movies like Avatar, I would say, but only in the theater, not at home. Yeah. It, like because you need that Avatar large screen and like just. You know, there, but most movies, I like, you don't need it in 3D. Yeah. See, I didn't see Avatar in the theater, but I can see where 3D would have been okay in that. But, like, yeah, like, now, you, now you just, just need be, that, you know, like wall size screen. That, ever since Avatar did it so well, every other movie's tried to ride the coattails of that to make the same yeah. grossing, and it just ruins half the movies. Yeah, like, I like Thor, but the 3D, since it reduces your resolution to half, the action scenes were way too choppy for the three D. Like if you could if I could have watched it in two D, I think the action scenes would have looked a lot more smoother to me. Well plus like they do all these movies in three D when there's no lighting. Like Pirates of the Caribbean four. Oh, I didn't even bother watching that. Uh, so supposedly that whole movie, if you watch it in three D, you can't see shit. Because it, it's naturally you know, it's like filmed in dark scenes. It's like at night uh-huh. or in caves or whatever. Because it's a pirate movie. It's supposed to be. And now watch a basically someone walking through a cave and watch that while wearing sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, that, actually, that was another thing that bugged me about Transformers 3. Like, imagine every cheap 3D trick. Like, you know, the stuff flying out of the screen and everything. Yeah. He put it in there. <laughs> like, I honestly think the movie is... It's like two and a half hours, and it was that long because he just wanted to fit all the 3D effects in there. And see, okay, that's the thing about 3D is, like, Avatar used it more as depth perception to kind of submerge you into this world as opposed to the shit flying at the camera. And then, like, everyone bitched that, oh, well, you know, all these movies do 3D and nothing flies at the camera. So then you get a movie where everything flies at the fucking camera, and then they bitch because everything's flying at the camera. Yeah, It's like you can't please anybody anymore. 
<laughs> no, like th- it, this was bad. Like you could tell it was like cheesy, like che- super, super cheesy, like ridiculously cheesy effects. And you're like, really? <laughs> so there. Yeah. I don't know. I get to go see Winnie the Pooh for free too. Nice. Thank I didn't even you. know there was a Winnie the Pooh movie. Uh, Clout sent me preview tickets because apparently that's my region of influences movies. So I get to go see Winnie the Pooh for free. You know, as much as I talk, you about and movies, all the ten, like ten, uh, ten year olds, five year olds. I'd go see Winnie I, the Pooh. I don't know what to expect though, because I wasn't that big of a Winnie the Pooh fan when I was a kid. You probably won't like it then. You know, I'll give it a chance. I'll probably like it better than Transformers. Oh, probably. <laughs> you probably you'll probably like the Smurfs more than you'll like Transformers. I actually let's see, Captain America. I kind of want to see see how that turns out. Okay, I saw a preview for the Smurfs movie the other day. Why are they making up fucking Smurfs? The iPhone app. Like, you know, there was they were going through the list of the Smurfs that are in this movie, and they're like, Papa Smurf, you know, Brainy Smurf. Okay, yeah, like the normal ones? Yeah, the normal ones. And then there's just like this one random one. I'm like, who the fuck is that? He was not in the (laughs) goddamn cartoons. Yeah, there's 101 fucking Smurfs, but never have I heard his fucking name before. You just pull out one of the random other Smurfs that doesn't have a name and throw him into the fucking movie. And give him a name. (laughs) And it's it's like supposed to be... um, uh, what was the one that was always working out? Uh, um, hefty Smurf. Name? It, it, or... It's supposed oh. to be Hefty Smurf, but they gave him a completely different name, like Steroid Smurf or whatever the fuck they called him. Jersey Shore, Shore Smurf. Yeah, it was like Situation <laughs> Smurf. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta look that up. What the fuck was his name? It's probably from the iPhone app, you know? Because I don't know how it became like the number one selling app <laughs> for a while. At this point, I completely killed the conversation for the next 20 minutes while I searched for the name of the Smurf. During that time, we also discussed the whereabouts of MySpace Tom, kids today not knowing who the Muppets are, and pocket protectors as a fashion statement. Most of those conversations, however, were interrupted by audio from the movie trailers. 20 minutes later, I learned the Smurf's name is Gutsy, KT left and came back with cake, and D-Max maintained radio silence until a wild fork appeared. Want to know what happened next? Tune in next week for part two.